Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Got a viewer letter today from Tom, who is not happy with how his bush hog cuts. And of course, we're talking about a bush hog. That's a brand name. Uh, it's a rough cut rotary cutter. But in this case, it is a bush hog. It's a bush hog brand. And I'm not going to diss on bush, bush hog today because of this issue. But I'm going to give you five things you can do to make your rotary cutter cut better if you're having a problem like this. And um, the fifth one is the one that's the, probably the most true uh, way to solve this problem. But let's get to the letter. Letter comes from Tom, and he says, Hi, Mike. I have an old Bush Hog RZ60. Bought it used a few years ago. I put new blades on it, and it cuts pretty well, but it's a rough cut. I know it's not a finish more, and I should expect a rougher cut. Are the new machines any better? no matter the brand. Thanks, Tom. Well, Tom, to answer your question, uh, a qualified yes with the newer machines. And I'm going to tell you some things that impact cut quality on a rough cut rotary cutter. But first, let's talk about the RZ60. The RZ60 is probably the bush hog that I've sold the most of, of, of any other bush hogs. I was in the tractor business for 11 years uh, managing a dealership. Uh, locally, and uh, we sold a package deal, uh, a new Holland TC30 tractor with an RZ cutter on the back of it, and we sold tons of them. And if you look at the RZ cutter, it's, it's not the heaviest built cutter you've ever seen. And it was real easy for me to upsell somebody to the next level of cutter, which was the SQ or Squealer series in the Bushhog line. The RZ60 came only in the 60 inch or, or 5 foot and uh, it, it looked a little bit cheap, had a, kind of a dinky gearbox on it, and, and the deck wasn't as thick as some of the bigger uh, bush hog, more deluxe bush hogs. But having said that, I sold tons of those, and I would tell people, I can upsell you to the uh, better uh, grade Squealer Cutter SQ Series, which is what I own, but the RZ Series, we sold hundreds of them, and I don't think I've ever seen one blown up. I don't really think that Bush Hog built those themselves. I think they bought them from somebody else. I'm not sure they were built in the U.S. I don't know where they came from. It was one of those things, every time I asked the Bush Hog rep, where did the RZ series come from, uh, I got a lot of talking and, and very little answer. Uh, so I'm not sure where those came from, but the, the Squealer series, the SQ and everything above that, was made in Selma, Alabama at Bush Hog's plant. But having said all of that, that RZ cutter is a tough little machine, even though it doesn't look that tough. And, uh, but the problem is the, the cut quality. So uh, one of the things I want to talk about first is blade tip speed. And that is a big impact on cut quality. If you're buying a zero turn mower, they're going to advertise, if they've got a good blade tip speed, how fast those blades are spinning because theoretically, the faster the blades are spinning, the better cut you'll get. Well, I looked up the RZ60, and it had a fairly slow blade tip speed. Uh, the RZ60 had a blade tip speed of 12,468 feet per minute. 12,468. If you look at the SQ series, which is the next series up, they had a blade tip speed of 14,335. So almost 2,000 feet per minute greater blade tip speed. And so you're going to get a better cut, all things being equal, with a faster blade tip speed. Now if you look at the newer cutters, yeah, some of them have quite a bit faster blade tip speed. Some of the twin spindle machines, like Bush Hogs twin spindle uh, that's got two spindles and two sets of blades, they have blade tip speeds up in that 16,000 feet per minute blade tip speed. And because you got a smaller blade pan and smaller blades and so they can spin faster and get the job done. So let's talk about five things you can do to make sure you're getting the best cut with your rotary cutter and, and try to help Tom out here. Number one is make sure you're running your tractor at rated engine speed. And rated engine speed is that, that sweet spot where your tractor makes the horsepower it's advertised for. I've got a TC40. Um, I'm supposed to run it, I think it's Gosh, I can't even remember on my own tractor, but it's like 2,550 RPM is rated engine speed. And running at that, I'm getting that full blade tip speed from my cutter. That, that's, 
your, your blade tip speed is rated at rated engine speed on your tractor. So if you're running slower, and I tend to run my bush hog uh, when I'm bush hogging around 2,000, 2,100 RPM because I can get the job done and I don't want a clean cut. I'm trying to destroy the woody plants and if I can cut them off jagged, which is what a, a rough cut rotary cutter is designed to do, maybe they won't regrow as well. But if you're running at rated engine speed, you're going to get that, that full impact of the cutter running with the full blade tip speed. So if you're running slow, Tom, uh, speed that up. Second thing you can do is change your height. And I don't know, and Tom didn't say what height he's cutting at, but uh, I like to cut around four inches. And at four inches, I get a, a decent cut uh, from my cutter, and, uh, and, and it looks fairly pretty. And it would look prettier again if I'd speed up my, my engine speed. So if you get much above four inches, you start going way down in, in cut quality. And that's because even though that Razorback was advertised to cut from 2 to 12 inches, if you get much above 4 or 5 inches, you're going to get a really ratty cut because things are going on. Uh, you get turbulence from the blades trying to throw the, the crop down, and, and, and you're not going to cut it well that way, so you're going to get a ragged cut. So, Tom, if you're cutting right now, oh, 5, 6, 7, 8 inches, try backing that thing down to about 4 inches, and see if you don't get a better quality cut. So height has an impact. Anytime you try to cut with a, a rough cut rotary cutter above five inches, uh, you're gonna get a rough cut, in my opinion. Uh, doesn't matter the brand. Next thing you could look at is the rake of the cutter. Now, if this is the tractor right here, if you look at the owner's manual, they're gonna tell you to have about a two inch lower cut in the front than you do in the back. And that's because on a rough cut rotary cutter, there's no real place for the material to go out. It's not like a rear discharge finish mower. There's really no place to discharge on most of them. So what they recommend is that you have a rake forward about two inches lower in the front than you do in the back. And that's going to allow the material to go out the back. Now, if you're wanting a better quality cut, try making it level. And if you make it level, you're, you're going to hopefully cut a little bit more even from front to back. And if you really want a pretty cut, and I've tried this and I think it does a prettier job of cut, but I'm really not positive, actually make it a little higher in the front than the back. Now what this does is it keeps the material inside the cutter, takes a lot more horsepower, but it mulches it up as you cut it, and it might give you just a little better quality cut. I, I don't really buy into that too much, and I don't like having my cutter uh, lower in the back than the front because if you chuck out a rock, it's going to come as a better chance of coming at the operator area, and that's a problem. But I would try if you're if you're got a rake of two inches forward, just making it level and see if that helps the cut. The fourth thing you can do on some cutters, you can get high lift blades. When you replace the blades. You get a, a blade and it's got a little wing on it that tries to raise the crop up and cut it uh, because uh, turbulence is a big problem. And if you can suck the crop up under the machine and then cut it and then let it go back down, sometimes that works better. I don't have any experience with high lift blades. I just know they're available on some machines. I kind of doubt that they're available for the RC60, but they could be. It'd be worth a shot checking with your local bush hog dealer. And finally, the, to me, the number one thing you can do to get a better cut quality with your rotary cutter is get rid of it. Get a finish mower. Because a finish mower is designed, like a lawnmower, to cut grass. And if you're out in a field of grass and you're, and you're disappointed with the cut on a rough cut rotary cutter, get a finish mower. Because it's like a lawnmower. And then, and then keep it up high so you go over rocks or any uneven places in the field. And honestly, you might be able to find, Tom, a finish mower fairly cheap because when, when zero turns came out, a lot of people got rid of their finish mowers. Uh, and also, you know, the manufacturers have made hooking up a belly mower a lot easier. So most of the folks that are, are, are mowing grass like in their yard and want a pretty cut have gone to zero turn or a compact tractor with a, a belly mower on it. And so finish mowers, the uh, ones I see, 
uh, sit in the fence row a long time and nobody uses them and you might be able to find one on Facebook Marketplace or at your local dealer that you could buy worth the money. But in my mind, trying to get a pretty cut out of a rough cut cutter is, uh, is, is going to frustrate you because they're not designed to cut pretty. They're designed to make tall grass short and to really gnarl up the woody plants as they cut and uh, that's what you're going to get. And if you go to a finish mower or a flail mower is going to give you a prettier cut probably than a rough cut cutter and maybe than a finish mower because it mulches up the material as it goes. But uh, a finish mower, Tom, is the way I'd recommend you go. Appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that right here. And here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for sale for the tractor owner that help support my channel. Here's a couple of other videos you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.